everybody. Welcome back to the Spin Rack. I'm here with my boys, PD and Kyle. Say what's up, gents. Hey, what's going on? Yo, ready to rock. Hey, this weekend is D23. This is Disney's um, Comic-Con, and this is when they drop all their new shows, and, and they discuss what's going on um, for the future of Disney, Lucasfilms, um, Star Wars, Disney Animation, Pixar. So, you know, they're dropping a whole bunch of trailers. They're talking about a whole bunch of stuff. But, hey, what's more important? Hey, let's... Um, let's listen to what yeah, Petey, what do you what do you think about this so far? Well, basically I'm going through the Twitter feed. This is the POC culture showing some stills from it. I think they probably have some of the best stills. Actually, I like to say my boss sent me a still. He showed me it's just the the poster that they have for the Fantastic Four that doesn't have the characters, but just to show me he was there rubbing it in. But anyway, um we get to see there's a lot of Disney stuff here at first, right? You know. Moana 2, what else? We got that's going on, some stuff we haven't heard of, Monster Jam, um, Avatar, right? But then we're gonna get to a fire with a fire and ash, right? So that might be more of a sky battle thing in that one. Any of these things you want me to stop on that you know any information on? Because we're gonna get to stuff that obviously we know about. Toy Story 2 is coming up, as you can see. Um, I don't know. Toy Story Five. I can't believe they're doing another one. Though. Oh, five, yeah, five, yeah. Sorry, my All mistake. The money. Now here, All we're, the gonna, money. we're gonna stop here on the Incredibles, right? Because Incredibles, I always like to say, is um, you know, was it once parody of the Fantastic Four, twice owned by Disney, so they can do more of these things. But at the same time, as good as the Incredibles are. They're beating the Fantastic Four to the punch, you know. So it's like it's kind of tough, and they use villains that are similar. Well, no, obviously not the one that was in the second one, even though they had the Mole Man in the first, at the end of the first one. So it's just kind of tough because they do they've done the Fantastic Four so well in the Incredibles, and they've done the kind of period thing. The hard thing is what is the FF going to do? Because we're going to get to some FF things too. Any thoughts on the Incredibles coming back? Well, I think it's great. I mean, I was reading something earlier that saying that they are um, they're getting back to the guy who, who Brad Bird, I think it was, the guy who was the writer, yeah. and you know he did a fantastic job with the original Incredibles, those movies. I mean, you got to give him credit. I don't know if he read the Fantastic Four, but if he, he definitely did, read the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Of course, if he read he it. Did. If he did, no, there's no if, if and he did. But he read mean, the Fantastic Four. Are, are you sure? Or are you just speculating? Positive. Positive. Read the Fantastic Four. Look at the incre- look at the Incredibles. Look at the Fantastic Four. Right. Even what is it? Even with the little ba- even with the little baby. Okay, who's more powerful than everybody else? And yep. that's not Franklin. Come on. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny they said that. that in, you know, no, I digress. But I know at one point people were talking about trying to recruit this guy to do the Fantastic Four movie. You know. Uh, based off of the Incredibles, but I mean that would have been a little bit too much, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, the, uh, why you got someone? The thing is, I will say because we haven't really said it. I think a lot of these movies, what works for Disney, and this is the same problem they have in the comic books. You have someone who's ushering in a successful title. The idea is like, well, the train will keep going if we lose the focus. Would Deadpool keep going if you lose Ryan Reynolds? Would yep. it, you know? No. The yes. singer, he's the guy who's who putting this thing together. He's the one picking the talent, what should go. He's the one fighting in the room with the, with the Disney people. The people that have the struggles are the people that shows you can work. With was it with Taya, Titi Watiki, that guy. He had a lot of comic book stuff in Ragnarok, so it seemingly worked with his humor. When he got to the other one, he had a lot of comic book stuff, but the focus wasn't there. And we felt we've always felt that. Um, I'm getting too, too, but we having someone Brad Bird who's kind of this like this strong-handed director. We could probably get a good FF out of it. The only problem is that no party in Hollywood wants to do the same thing they did exactly, unless they already have some sort of production and some sort of um, profit share that they can keep to. So that's the hard part of saying getting Brad Bird to do the Fantastic Four because be like, I could probably make more with the Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> and Disney won't uh, Disney won't won't sue me anymore because you know, you know Marvel won't sue me anymore because Disney owns it. So 
But um, I think you need to have a strong hand. You need to have a strong hand in, in pushing these things out. And that's what, whenever they lose a strong hand, as you lose a person, you, you lose the product. Yeah, look at what we got with Deadpool. Deadpool, to be quite honest, that's Ryan Reynolds' baby. We would not be seeing it if he wasn't the driving force behind getting this done and had the clout, you know, had the connections in order to do it. Uh, that is a big, that is a very, very big part of it. That's the difference between getting Deadpool and going through 10, 15 years of uh, development hell, you know, like some other characters who I won't say right now, you know, have had to go, have had to go through before they can get their films out. So that's a very big part of it. But uh, what exactly do we want to talk about with, with D23? And was it Disney 23 or was it Doodoo 23? That's my question. Oh, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First of all, I got to thank you guys. We Where have, did this uh, come from? We have our resume <laughs> in the various parts of the Disney Empire. The, gl- the, the glove is on, but it sounds like the gloves, the gloves are off, or the gloves are no, off. No, no, the right. gloves where are not off. Where did that come not, from? We're not, we're not having that conversation. Here we go. Where, where did that come from? Where Stop instigating, Petey. This Stop is what I'm talking about. What is no, that? No, Matthew no. McConaughey ended up in this piece. What's going on? Well, I'm just going to Jimmy Jimmy Superfly snooker both of y'all if you don't stop. <laughs> All right? Now listen, you know, this is it's incredible that they're doing this whole thing with the Incredibles. Now let's talk about Avatar. Let's move on to that. You know what, Avatar, about? what are you talking about? Avatar? It's coming out. Avatar, they, they finally got a title for the show. It's going to be now, Ash, it, Fire it, and Ash. Is so it a TV show or the movie? The movie is coming out. Unfortunately, okay. no, they didn't put anything out. They didn't put any um, video or anything out, but it's coming out. It's a set thing. Um, I think they're starting it for 2026, I think it is. All right, so wait, wait, wait. You got to slow down. You got it too excited after um, Cal did his, his attack. Slow it down. It really affected you, didn't it? I'm just. I'm coming sorry. Out next year, it's coming out next year on 2020 and 2025, uh, Avatar. And so they didn't have the commercial, but last 2022 was a huge hit. Why he didn't have a trailer ready? Look, I don't want to diss him because he may, be, you know, one day we may be working with him. But you know, he, as far as I've been hearing, this guy's been working on Avatar for 30 years. So for Goonie Googles, he should have had this stuff ready to go here at D23. That's what I've been waiting for. But you know what? The very fact that we have the announcement that we're confirming the date that um, December um, 2025 we're going to have it, I think it's, it's good to go. All right? So let's all clap. I'm not clapping, but I enjoyed the last one a lot. And so did Cal. Cal, did you see it? Did you see the last Avatar? Of course. I just said Cal enjoyed it, so we don't need to say accent if he saw it. Oh, nobody would see the last Avatar. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's the answer to that. And don't be listening to that. I, I'll tell Cal. Don't worry about it. Um, another thing too that's happening that we, we got to say, Zootopia. Whoa. What about Zootopia? Zootopia was a massive hit. They're going to be coming out with another Zootopia. Okay, so pretty much we got, so we got nothing new. Everything's going to be sequels to stuff that was successful because these guys oh. have been screwing up everything else for the last five, six years. Is that Ooh. what you're telling me? What are we going to have? Red Ooh. Panda 6? You know, what, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, man. Oh, man. They're giving us established sure. properties that people want to see. Okay? If you want to see something that's uh, smaller and, 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 and controversial and, 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 and out of this world, go to friggin' Lionsgate. This is D23, Disney 23. Wow. Okay? So, please, hold your tongue. You know, you're going to ruin it for all of us. Okay, Cal? Oh, we'll look at Frozen next. Time. Frozen 3. Yes. Yeah, they, Frozen they, they, 13. Frozen 13. Frozen 33. <laughs> <laughs> if people like like something, you give it to them. Why are Instead you hating? Instead of letting go, it'll be can't let go. <laughs> Won't let go. <laughs> Isn't it the same thing with Superman? You like Superman and you want him to do more Superman? So now you're saying people like Frozen? Hey, are, are you talking about Disney? Because right right? I'm not going to say you're talking about Disney. Disney. Okay? But I'm saying he wants to start Hold dissing. On. You know? Hold on a second. Are you throwing the gauntlet down? Because we can do this. Do you want this fade? Bro, the gauntlet want- down or the gloves are on? Which one are we at right now? It sounds like well, a... <laughs> New Year's resolution you- um, makes me not want to throw any gauntlet down. I'm just trying to remind you that our resumes are in with a bunch of these properties that you're insulting. You know, Just be more careful in the way you wish to Oh, wait a second. What? That didn't sound right at all. Yeah, that sounds like somebody thinks he's that sounds like someone thinks he's my daddy. Last time I checked, I only have one, and it's not you. All right, let's do it then. Let's do it. All yeah. right. 
You don't want smoke, bro. That's all I gotta say. We 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 we're being nice and cool. Do you so, have smoke? That is the question. If you have smoke, let's do it. Okay, let's wait. You know what? We give it. We we we'll pass all of the 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 Disney Broadway stuff. We're gonna do a, a review on this trailer later. What do you What do you gotta say about Skeleton Crew? You've been talking about them trying to reach the younger viewers. Yeah, what do you have to say about Skeleton Crew? Mr. Big Star Wars fan. Mr. I read the novels. Now we're over here shilling for Disney. We're over here shilling for Disney. We're over here carrying Disney's luggage and water. Okay, why? What do you have to say, Mars? What do you have to say? Have you remained true? Have you remained true? What do you have to say? Like I said, I am 100% down. I'm glad to have Skeleton Crew. This looks really good. We'll we'll review the trailer. We'll talk more about it. The very fact that Disney is trying to take a different angle and bringing more people in once again shows the brilliance of the company. No, 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 no. no. Not going to let you get away with that. What does that mean? What do you mean Disney's trying to bring more people in? When has Disney ever tried to keep people out? What does that mean, Mars? Are you saying some <laughs> diversity stuff here? You're talking DEI Ooh, stuff over man. here on the spinner rack? I'm talking to explain younger yourself. viewers. I think I'm talking younger Didn't viewers. Say that. Know. Say younger viewers. Don't talk I'm about bringing more viewers. people in. I'm thinking we're bringing more people into it. And so I'm just saying, hey, I'm just so excited that once again, the company that we are going to be part of. And uh-huh. we'll Please, that did he just say he's so excited? Did he just say he's so excited? Like, this is we are so excited. Oh, no, you said no. you. No, you so said no. you. You did not say us. You said, said you. Oh my! God. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. See what you thought of PD? You like to you like, you like to just break the glass and. Just oh yeah, away. sometimes I do like this game. I'm sorry, I do like it's fun. This is like what is the fame? You said you wanted the fame. All yeah. right, so Andor's. This is something we can celebrate. Andor's coming back, season uh, two. Agreed. Andor was a solid series, well written. Okay, very good in terms of very very good in terms of execution. Okay, great story elements, ties into the overall story of Star Wars seamlessly. Want to see more of that. Definitely want to see more of that. Skeleton Crew, as much as I was giving more of a hard time. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll go I, I think Skeleton <laughs> Crew is a good idea. I do think Skeleton Crew is a good idea. I want things to bring in younger viewers, okay, so they can enjoy this stuff too because, hey, we're finite beings, right? Eventually, we get called back home. People still got to watch this stuff. So I want things that younger viewers can get involved with. And to be quite honest, it's new. I like, I still love cartoons. I'll probably end up watching, you know, watching it myself. And I hope that it's good. I hope it's more engaging than Bad Batch because Bad Batch came out and I just never really got up to speed with it. And then because it wasn't very engaging, I just said, you know what, I'll wait. I'll wait until the series is over. And then I can just watch all three, four, five seasons at once. And I'll be able to get my enjoyment that way. So I like the idea of Skeleton Crew. Andor was a solid series, but because they made so many mistakes on everything else, Andor didn't get the light and love it should have gotten because that was a very good series. Everybody should have been talking about it. And unfortunately, you know, because, well, we want to, well, you know what? Let me not say that. But because of decisions that was made, decisions that were made involving other shows, it affected Andor. Okay, look, I'm, I, 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 I got to sometimes hold you guys to account, okay? Just to show you how successful Star Wars has been. You know, Star Wars has been, you know, one of the biggest box office drawers. It's been one of the biggest. I think Mandalorian has been the number one Disney Plus. We uh, get into that. There's another season of The Mandalorian coming. Yeah, it's going to be on the film, actually. I think it's, it's going to be, be a Mandal- film. Mandal- yeah, it's going to be a film. They're coming out with three new films. Great. Even better, Disney actually turned a profit on streaming. You know? Um, young, they're going to Young Jedi, Disney Channel, Disney Plus. They're doing stuff. They're just ramping up this stuff. Even the 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 Disney the theme park, the Galaxy's Edge, where people were dissing, has done great. The the fact people are buying more um, um, stuff for Star Wars related. I mean, I can't not imagine. the hotel, not the hotel. They're ramping up stuff because they're trying to get Kathleen Kennedy out, and she won't leave until she has a win. She has yet to have a win for herself, so she's going to stay there. Okay, look, Kathleen Kennedy, we do not have to talk about uh, our future. <laughs> you, need to, you need to bite your tongue and hold it up. Kathleen Kennedy has, has been the, the one who's been able to steer and lead this ship. You know, yes, there's been a couple of bumps here and there, but there have been fantastic successes. And over her her, 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 her tenure, she's brought in billions and billions and billions of dollars. Bumps are, you said bumps? Don't you mean sinkholes? Wow. Well, when, you bring in, when you bring in $5 billion to a company, what do you call that? That's not a sinkhole. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes, she may have 
hurt some future profits, but the current profits did pretty well. I see, on, I see your full house, and I raise you that Kathleen Kennedy, under her stewardship, stewarded the first Star Wars movie to ever lose money. Lose money when it went to film. No other Star Wars movie ever lost money when it went to theaters. Under Kathleen Kennedy's watch, Solo, a Star I Wars. I totally movie disagree because lost when you look, when you, when you look at the whole thing, there's you can't just, just look at you can't just look at the movie theater. You have to look at DVDs. Um, no, um, now you're doing. You're not. You're not. You are not. You are not you can I do that? The whole thing. You are sitting there trying support. to save your job. The whole That's what you do when you save your job. Hey, look at our DVD sales and our streaming is going crazy. Yeah, Even so, though Solo uh, Solo's made his money back. Maybe in, in in the next five years it'll make his money back, but it's close. It's on the trajectory to make his money back. Solo was a great movie. I gotta say. Like to make its money back. Is it ever going to make its money back? Solo was a great movie. Was oh, movie. Oh. Okay, it was. Not don't even, so I, I don't. I don't consider that a loss at all. I would see Solo. I've seen Solo again, and on second viewing, I think it was a better movie than it was the first time. Okay, you need to see it as what a couple billion more times, and they should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, but they also point out that they. I mean, they. They. We don't know what if the acolyte is coming back. The director said that, hey, I did everything I needed to do in this first season. That's a sign of, hey, we're shutting I'm down. I'm not doing it. Yeah, the sign yeah I don't, she's like, I don't need this fade. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting into. That's I'm not touching one. that. More, I, I'm, not, I'm the, not touching that one. Okay? I see. I'm not the more important that. question is, are we going to get season two of She-Hulk? Because according to Tatiana <laughs> Maslali, she's got an important character here. <laughs> I'm not touching that one either. That's another thing of having the comic books but not having a person who actually was a fan of it to usher that humor in so it's a sad thing they can oh, no i i take dis i disagree i think the issue with that is that they decided to go a comedic route with that particular character and they didn't no. really no. try to they did not try to frame it within the comic book it, it seems no, outside they didn't have humor not in the like comic that. book in the comic book, it did have humor. In the comic book, she broke the fourth wall all the time, starting with the first issue of Sensational She-Hulk. The problem was you pissed off your audience. Execution. Execution. No, the other, I'm going to, no, 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 to, Cal, to, to add on. Is well, thank that you for no, agreeing with me, Petey. No matter, no matter what humor there was, the connection between the Hulk and the She-Hulk was family. That's yeah. when the She-Hulk got serious. She would be flipping, she'd be over, you know, sexual. But when she got around Bruce, she understood what Bruce went through. So she was not, she wasn't an older sibling, but she was the the younger one, the younger cousin that was there for him in his hard times. And then when Bruce had the mind of the Hulk and he was missing a step, she helped him get to the next step. And then when he was in the hospital, she was there. This is your poignant moments, not a poignant like. Hey, you don't you don't have a you know Bruce Banner was happy that she wasn't stuck with the with the thing of controlling the Hulk because he is a it was a struggle for him. Of course, it was a curse. He's not gonna look at her and be like, "Hey, how are you doing that?" When you don't have the same thing. Like he also understands how to. He's been looking at all the gamma stuff for who knows how many years. He knows that it affects people differently. I'm sorry, I got too emotional. All right, let's get back to this thing. Sorry, D23 Expo. And I thought it was going to be D24, but now <laughs> it's always going to be D23. We did a little talk about Captain America. We don't, but here's where we go. Here's where we go. We're going to have to watch. She Hulk. They did all of that stuff okay. for their target audience. And you know what happened? They targeted the audience. The audience wasn't there. <laughs> well, I kind of disagree. You look at the audience that we talk about in terms of that show, it didn't work as well. But remember, they were looking off the. Mm -hmm. the they were looking at the Tell show. Tell me now, more, more DVD looking, sales? More were, DVD they, sales? They were looking. They were looking at um, um, Wanda, Wanda, Wanda Vision, and thinking like, "Hey, that audience they'll be able to get a piece of." And unfortunately, it didn't. It didn't hit completely the way it should have. Look, you know what? Had, for, the the audience they were looking like for, the and goes on up again because that's what they are. The Phoenix always or was a yeah, female Disney. audience that didn't yeah, turn out Disney. for this show. They were looking for a female audience that didn't turn out for this show. The majority of the people who turn out for superheroes in Star Wars, male. They keep cheesing off their audience. They keep trailing their audience. And they keep saying, well, we're building this for this future audience that's going to come in. They're not coming. 
Star Wars isn't new. <laughs> he Hulk isn't new. They're not coming. They got other stuff that they, came, they like, they came and for they turned division. out for that. They came hmm? for one division, and they're going to come. And they came out they for one division for what reason? For what and reason? They make, and they may come t- for no, 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 no. Don't try to don't, come, don't try to get away from it now. Why did they come out for one division? Why did they come out for one division? You tell me. Come on. Why because did they come Wanda. out? Because of one. No. No, they didn't come out for Wanda. I'll give you one more shot before I hit you with this fade. Why did they come no, out? Because you because you walked right they into came it. Out, there. They came out for Wanda, Wanda Maximoff. No, they didn't come out. That's the same thing you said the first time. <laughs> okay, you should be running. They, they, you should be running from Scarlet. They came out for Scarlet Rich. With this type, you just said the same thing three times in a row. You should be running for president. <laughs> Okay, it's the wrong answer three times in a row. You and this other guy over here, whose name shall remain nameless, you should, you and him, you should be his running mate. You'd be doing a better job than JD. Okay, <laughs> at the very, at the very least, you can stay on target. They came out because of that's right. You said it. Endgame. Okay, they rode the coattails. Yeah. Endgame yeah. It was the first TV series, yeah. and there it was go. directly after Endgame. People wanted more. Yeah. Okay, Marvel was at an apex. Marvel was at an apex when they came out, and WandaVision was part of those coattails that they had left for it. So that's the reason why you had your audience. Nothing other than that. Okay, that's one interesting thing, but as long as Disney does well, that's all we care about. Long live the mouse. Long wow. live the mouse. Long live the mouse. See, see, there, I have to admit I'm with you because, hey, I love Mickey. I support the mouse. But these decisions that are being made by the underlings, yo, Mickey needs to get with the sorcerer hat and just do some magic and, you know, make them all disappear. Get rid of these people, Mickey. Sorcerer's hat. One sorcerer's I can hear Mickey. Well, they got a contract, Mickey. <laughs> do what you got to do. Get rid of the Mick or unleash Donald or something because Donald wouldn't take this nonsense. Donald would be like, nah, you guys are out. You guys are crazy. So why are you showing us this Fantastic Four, Petey? This is the art direction they're going for, obviously. So you can see some of the bits that they had in here. Obviously, Where's Doctor Doom. Um, I think he's gonna show up, but let's watch. We don't. We don't actually. The problem. I think some. They've shown some things. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see anything in this one, but I think on some other YouTube channel, there's this thing here, right? So let's see if I can play this. Yeah. And um, we will see you very soon. Yes. Bye. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. That didn't work. Hold on. Oh, we're in the middle of the production, so unfortunately we can't be with you today. We are very excited to bring Marvel's first family to life. I bet you right here is this costume. What the hell are they doing with this costume here? Hey, you know this, you're the Fantastic Four fan. You tell us. This, this. What are you talking about? You're the one who'll be a shield for Disney. You tell us. <laughs> Yo, what is this? A tag team? Right? Look, look. I thought my that thing is this is a bad. This is like if if um first Captain America costume was supposed to be a, a show of how bad it looked if it was actual cloth, like um and that. Looked okay except for the neck and the head with the head portion of it. This is a travesty that they would go like this. Like the, they spent time in comic books sometimes making the chest part an actual emblem or something like this. This thing of just looking like pajamas with no other thing. And I knew they were going to screw this up and it's just going to look worse. And hopefully they 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 somehow pull this out. But it, it's really hard to say. It's really showing that they're really kind of messing this thing up. But it's really upsetting to see this Johnny in this outfit, and we, you know, I guess we'll see them stop using their accents. But it's really looking bad. But I think in the thing they see, you see Doctor Doom in one of these other pieces. But you have to go to someone else's; they don't have it on here. You can't see it, and then they talk about Galactus too. So, um, with the cheese factor, there'll be some other stuff in there. So, but that seems like Doctor Doom is just going to be a precursor to seeing him in Doomsday, you know, because they've already announced Doomsday. So it's like, he's going to show up, be cool, maybe even beat the FF and they wind up in the future. And we're like, we're in the future. And that and that's what seemed, seemingly happened. But then the Avengers had to come in, as, well, the kid Avengers, because all the other Avengers are, are gone. And they'll just be shocked to see um, Tony Stark as Doom and be like, Tony, and we'll get the Marvel, the comic book doppelganger that is has finally made it into the theaters. You know, 
But anyway, sorry, I got a little too emotional here. Um, they took it off the shelf, they dusted it off, and they're finally bringing out Ironheart. They totally, they totally shelved it, and now they're bringing out um, Ironheart. We're not seeing what it is, but what are your feeling, Mars, that they finally did something that they weren't happy with, took it off the shelf, and now they're releasing it? I mean, are they? is this still part of Armor Wars? Are they going to be combining those two? I'm not exactly sure what's oh, going on. I don't on. think they're combining. This is... This is... Yay! Yay, I'm so happy. Maybe I can finally sell these books. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Riri Williams! Yay! Yay! I hope everybody watches. I hope the show's a big hit. Get rid of these books. So they're saying it's supposed to continue from the Black Panther, Riri Williams, and stuff like that. Um, look, if it if it does well, if it's entertaining, if it's well done, why not watch it? You, know you sound like you're saying if he dies, it dies. That's what it sounds like you're about to say. If Ironheart yeah. dies, it dies. That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> I'm a company man, so I will never say that. Okay. Oh. So, all right. I don't know about you guys, but I'll never say that. And I don't, I just want to just make one small point. You guys are really hurting our chances here. You know, yeah, company say. man like Nancy Pelosi is Joe Biden's friend. <laughs> wow. Oh but God. this is the the one thing. Well, Fantastic. Well, actually, Fantastic Four had a, a bunch of movies already, so I can't say that. But Ironheart, you know, Ironheart is a, a legacy thing, so it's how, pulling off some Iron Man stuff into, you know, this um, Street Girl. But after many missteps, Born Again is happening. Yeah, uh, baby, it's about time. Once again, I like to say, Kevin Feige had his plan, and his plan failed miserably. He had to shelve most of his stuff to get most of the stuff that was in the um, the well, Netflix series to get it back on tap and basically do season two all over again. So it's born again. We're doing season two all over again, except for probably no Electra. Well, that remains to be seen. I mean, you think they're going to go back to the original Electra? Possibly. No, no, they definitely not going to do that. Why would they do that? Not Feige. So I think that was I think that was it. Besides um, some of these other things, obviously we don't need to talk about Agatha because Agatha, um, um, Percy oh, Jackson. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know why they only make D twenty three big enough for twelve thousand. I don't know if they have a stadium or a place big enough, larger than that. You know, figure they'll make even more money if they can get more people there. You know, so why do they have a limit to how much can be there? Is there a magic show that you saw that? It's just so, you're going too fast, bro. It's too fast. Bro. Is there anything that you want to see here? They got, what's the name? They got them David Blaine. Yeah, always David Blaine. D23, he's going to be involved in that? Not National Geographic. That's from the National Geographic channel. So, Nat Geo. Do not attempt. I like that. I think I'll let it probably check it out. I'm a big uh, magic fan. Continue down. Um, Freaky of Friday, of course, that's going to be a hit. It's got to be a hit. With Lindsay Lohan? Lohan, yeah. With Lindsay's low hand? I don't know about that. It's going to be a hit. She's changed. She's, her shows on Netflix have been hitting hard. So I guess she's coming back. Um, Lilo and Stitch, another one. I guess there's an audience for that. And I guess you're right, um, Cal, is that they're really going back to the original stuff and bringing it back. Snow White, there's probably, there may be some shade on that because she said she didn't like it when she was younger. But you know now she has a job. So unlike you guys, she's learned to, to, to toe the company line and say she likes it. All right? I have no idea because they don't want they they do their best when they take the story. Mind you, most people don't know the story of Cinderella. Most people know Disney's story of Cinderella. That's the only one Snow that matters. White. Okay, to Disney, yes. Is the majority of people turning out for a Disney movie? Yes. And then, if you decide you're going to tinker with that and decide you want to put an agenda or some politics or whatever it may be into this film, you're undercutting your own story. It's totally ridiculous it's, since it's Disney's story. I understand where they make these errors with Marvel and with Star Wars thinking, okay, we got to do the same thing with these characters that we do with something like Cinderella. But nobody, most of these people have never read a Grimm's fairy tale or are going to come out and say, that's not how it happened in the book because they never, there was nothing before that that any of was on anybody's radar. They probably, if they ever heard the stories, it was probably like a bedtime story told you know, you know, word of mouth, that type of thing. However, when you come out and you're going to do Snow White and you want to reimagine your own story for a modern audience that's not asking you to do it, that has no problem with the story, look at what they did. Did you see Cinderella? 
Cinderella was was fine. That was perfect. Okay, that was live action. They hit all the right notes, no problem. Then you go do Beauty and the Beast, and it's like, wait a second. What's this stuff seeping in here? Why do we need to see this? Just, you want to do a live action version of your of your animated classic? Just do that. Nobody's asking for anything else. So that's, if they can do that without, you know, making the same mistakes, they have no problem. But the second, and these people are being told to come out and say stuff like this. Because I'm certain most of the actors are not like, yeah, you know, I got to go over here and, you know, say these particular things that are potentially polarizing. But, you know, I'm certain they have handlers who are saying, yeah, make certain that you talk this up and make certain we get these particular points up in terms of this. And they're saying it, you know, and then they're supposed to stay with it. You know, most actors cannot come out and say, yeah, you know what? This movie's probably going to be trash. <laughs> They have to support the movie all the way through, even if it's something that they don't feel very strongly about. So if they can, you know, if they can just give us what we expect, they'll be okay. If they, they decide what we're going to give, what this particular group we're targeting that doesn't exist wants, then we're still stuck with the same nonsense. Hold on, I got to hold you to that because the one thing that the, the Brothers Grimm did is that they gathered existing stories around um, their area and then they, they adapted the versions that they thought were best and put them together and, and sold out. So we're many different versions. So to come and knock our future employer about their variants, All right. I take wait, 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 wait a second. Okay? No, I take no, 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 you I can, the thing is- you saying that no, they can't stop, when the variants that existed before? No, stop it, talk, stop bro. it, stop it. No, okay. you can, the thing is that whether the stories have or whatever they came from or they built on this thing, the thing is, is like, yeah, that doesn't mean you get to put your garbage in it. Why not? <laughs> no, you just do the story that the, you do the classic story, unless you have some bits you want to add. But instead of saying, there are different hey, versions of it, bro. Look, I'll give you an example a Nazi the spider. I've heard no. the same story told no. different from different cultures. You have a Nazi the spider, people here from the West Indies have the same, have the, 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 the and we have Disney, who told you have, their uh, version of the West story. Africa. There's two Disney Ghana, telling their version of the story. Now they're telling their own other version of the same story they just told. It's them. Okay, it's this, not is not some other this, company. this is not endearing us to Disney, so you need to stop. All right? Disney did it. They're the ones. We're not talking about an outside company to say, hey, there's some bits in the original You're calling story. Them out. You're you. calling them out. Don't call them out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving on because this is clearly contentious with you guys. I know I like it. You know, I, I thought that was a good one with this whole Anansi the Spider thing because that would be the equivalent of Disney coming out with Disney's Anansi the Spider. <laughs> Only they came out with this Anansi the Spider back in '72. Yeah. And now in 2024, we got all this other stuff going on, and you're like, well, wait a minute, this is the story that you know this the, you had this out for 30 years. Why are you tweaking this particular story? Oh well, we need to update it. What do you need to update it for? Nobody's asking for an update. This is a classic story. It's quintessential. It's fine just the way that it is. No, no, we got to target what that audience over there. What audience? That audience that doesn't exist, but we expect they're going to be here any day now. That's the problem. They're okay. trying to make sure instead of having a, a late legged spider, they're trying to be inclusive and have a six legged spider. Okay. What are you talking about? All right. Can't be All a spider. right. So we move on. We move on to one of the top shows that we expect to be a billion dollar business. Oh, no, it's never been a billion dollars. Tron no, coming back. Tron no. Is, and I gotta say, this I'm calling never, it right now. Tron is like work. one of the top properties that's been underutilized for all these years. But finally, once again, Disney in their infinite wisdom is bringing it back in. You know, okay. it's going to be a sequel to the other ones. I don't know what. Was, it, was there any of them made money? <laughs> yeah, they made money, man. I bet your tongue, bro. Let me get you were the kid who saw Tron and then ran to the comic store hoping there would be a tie-in and were disappointed when there wasn't, right? That was you, right? You were that one kid asking for the Tron comic book? That was you. You were the kid I heard about. It was a now Tron comic book. Wasn't there a Tron comic book? Because it was a Tron comic book. There was a Tron ad on the back of a comic book, but you were the kid yes. who was waiting for that comic yes. to come out. No, I know I, I, I what had this uh, put in the put in the you know book. look like Romulus, Ares. Like what's the next movie thing that they're gonna try to just put some sort of um name under to be like hey here's a everything that was old is new again that's what i gotta say all right yeah that, that's the best thing of this d23 and this is what you've been waiting for mufasa no we're waiting for tron go back up again bro there's nothing to see we just had jeff bridges who's not being country western for two seconds right so it's about i believe it's supposed to be based on a, an ai that comes out of the the, the world comes out into the human world, basically, from the Tron world. So, 
I'd love to see how they work that on out. But hey, I have faith. See that, guys? Faith. That's something that that means you don't know what. There's no evidence, but you just believe. Like the great no, pumpkin. No, no that is. Oh, like the great pumpkin. Oh my goodness! You sound like one of these street. You sound like one of these street corner preachers, man. Come on. The word faith means trust, and trust is based on evidence. So you're wrong right there. Okay, there's no you don't believe in something because you believe it, even because it's not there. So then I would have to ask you, why do you put your faith in this? The same way that you walk down the street and you have faith. Because we that trust in Disney to get it right. So the same way that you walk down the street and you have faith that you're not going to fall through the sidewalk because of the evidence of the strength of the sidewalk. Why do you trust in this? What is your faith based on? Blind faith. Yeah, my Lord and Savior will no matter will always look out for me. I can't Ooh. say what? what for the good, the okay, good this sounds like, dude. Dude, uh, you're dude, you're talking some nonsense now. Who? Borderline, who? borderline. Who, who was the guy? Who was that? Is that um, I had to go back. Iger, is that your Lord and Savior right now, <laughs> or is it um, Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Wait a second, we were mixing two things up there. Cows throwing me off with one thing, you throw me off with something else, okay? There's one oh, one lord, one overall lord and savior, but within our corporate, since our resumes are in with within, our corporate. With, within corporate is um Warner Brothers and uh and um Disney. We haven't we don't have anything with Bezos. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not going to follow you on the Tell Express. <laughs> so, I, I'm I'm stepping I'm stepping away. These guys are these guys are business people. Who we would like to work for, but Lord and Savior, no. I'm just making that on the record. I stand okay. far away I, from this. I, I stand, You're on I, your own. I stand with you there too. Petey, what are you showing us? Nothing. I was just trying, like I was, I was trying to get back to Iger, but um, we don't need to see Iger. So we're excited. D23 seems like an exciting thing, something that we, uh, we properties that we wanted to see forever. Disney has done a magnificent job of putting together stuff from you got to be kidding me. Star Wars, <laughs> Avatar. Avatar. The D stands for do over. The D stands for do it again. And as long as it's, it's within Disney the show, Disney has oh, done a, ma a maleficent job of, of hating on. <laughs> Come on. No, that was good. That was good, PD. Keep it going. No, it wasn't good. Don't, don't continue on those lines. But look, see, look once again, I just got to say that they, they've knocked it out of the box. It's like, you know, you have. Oh. No, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's, let's actually be, what, uh, Cal, what are you most looking forward to in this group of things? It has to be one thing you have to say. Uh, the, the Mufasa prequel. Okay. Mars? Whatever Disney puts out, I'm down to watch, okay? I'm watching all the Star Wars stuff. I'm watching all the Marvel stuff. Tron is up there. Avatar, you know, um... Do you do a video on Tron? The, the, the Scar, do do on Tron? I'll take a look. No, Scar, no the Scar one. I'm waiting for the Scar movie to come out, so we're we're, we're down with that. What else? We All right. Oh, we didn't do anything on Tron because we knew there was no audience. There's a huge Tron. audience with Tron. Yo, I'm tired of you in this Tron issue, bro. All right, don't start it. You know we can All play that right. about knives. I'm gonna say uh, obviously the Incredibles. And then um, yeah, incredible. Andor, Andor, and I'm um, I'm still interested in the Mandalorian. So those are things I'm looking forward to. Let's close this out. We did our 23, but we're in this have Thrawn. I don't care, bro. I'm all for it. the Ahsoka's coming out too. We yo, it's Disney is just doing it. Iger, you are the man. Okay. Right. And it's not because we have a resume. This is, this is where we say, the people say, you know, it's something you know, terrible about the person hugging someone else is, is something or another. I can't say it as a control. What? Yo, bro, don't you freaking start with me now. You know, spin a rack. Out. Way out. You are out of, out of character, bro. I haven't stopped the show like yet. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? 